Hi, this is Sean with an update after some remodeling in the 2.6 gallon Pico tank. So you can see my uh, clown goby is now hanging out on the live rock. And damsel is hanging out. So what I've done is I've removed a couple of the live rock pieces I had previously. And as I said in my previous video, I went ahead and um, got some matching live rock to the tall uh, tower piece that I had uh, in the tank originally. So um, I got some beautiful pieces of rock here. Knocking over my water samples. And as you can see, everything kind of matches up real nice. Beautiful colors on this particular live rock. Uh, the camera doesn't really do it justice. This one piece here, the support piece has a nice deep purple with like a lavender transition to it. Uh, looks great in person. So all the critters are back in with some uh, slight changes. So the uh, place I went to go get the live rock actually gave me some free hermit crabs. So uh, these are smaller hermit crabs. So I went ahead and replaced the one that was in here uh, with these two. And uh, the one I had in here is um, now in my 10 gallon tank, along with the other free hermit crabs I got. And um, I did put a shell in from another hermit crab, um, just in case one of them wants to upgrade their habitat. So water is just about settled. Everything's looking good. Um, parameters on the water test after the water change. It looks like pH is dropping a little bit. So um, I'm going to keep an eye on that. And um, ammonia is probably about 0.25 ppm right now somewhere between 0.25 and zero uh, nitrite is starting to spike a little bit um, I've got approximately 0.25 ppm of nitrite according to the chart here and uh, of course nitrate is still very high so that's where we are out there and the clown goby seems to be a little bit more active than before I guess he's getting used to his uh New blinds. And of course the coral banded shrimp has a new hiding spot, which I actually like because his hiding spot now faces uh, the side of the tank where I can see him a little bit better. So I um, get to enjoy that cool looking shrimp off to the side here. And um, as far as any other additions, I've got some sexy shrimp coming on Wednesday. So, uh, thanks to my buddy, John at the LFS, I will have four sexy shrimp shortly. Two will be going in here and the other two will be going in a 10 gallon. And, uh, one of the things we also talked about is, um, going for a pistol goby pairing. So whenever I find the right match, I will go ahead and um, bring them into the tank together so they pair up. According to instructions online, that's the best way to go about it. So I'm looking for um, suggestions on 
um, a good Gobi uh, pistol uh, matchup. Um, my friend John is looking into some options for me. So doing a little bit more research on that. And um, that's where everything's at right now. Thank you for watching my video.